knows the gang life very well because he lived it. He lived it for many years. And he knows exactly the kind of choices that you're going to have to make. Ladies and gentlemen, this is David Hope. I started when I was 12 years old. I was on the street when I was 12 years old. I was doing everything that I shouldn't be doing. I thought it was cool listening to people telling me, go ahead and do that, go ahead and do this, and whatever the situation is. And at the end of the day, those people that was telling me to do those things, it wasn't no good for me. I was coming home 3 o'clock in the morning, and some dudes rolled up, roll up beside my car, and they shot, they shot through the window. They shot me. I got shot five times. The thing about me is when I got shot, I was mad with the whole world. I was upset with the whole world after that. And I did more harm. I wanted more people to die. I wanted to go out there and do harm to people because I was upset of what happened to me. This small, a little bad for me to get in, a toilet and where I put my clothes at and my snacks. That's where I was living for three and a half years. And the people that's in prison, they been there for a long time. They lived there, that's their home. I didn't want that to be my home. Nobody want prison to be their home. I know I don't want to see you in jail. I know I don't want to see this to happen to you. I know I don't want to see you shot up in a wheelchair. Because if you think it can't happen to you, someone just like you thought it can't happen to them, and it happened. Listen to your parents. Listen, they're the ones that love you. They're the ones that make sure you got clothes, make sure you go to school. They're the ones that, that bothers you. People that bother you, they care about you. 